Hey guys, what is up? It is Dorcas from Daily Dose of Dorcas and Daily Dose Spiritual Co. And welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. And we are on day four of the 12 days of business. I'm coming to you guys on today to make sure that you understand the steps you need to take in order to start a business. So, ain't nothing to it but to do it let's go ahead get right into this video because i don't want it to last long your girl is not feeling her best but i'm looking my best hey all right let's go ahead and get started before i um <laughs> go off on a tangent y'all know how i can do so okay you got it in your head that you want to be an entrepreneur you watch the first three days of the 12 days of business so you got your mindset together let's go ahead and talk about what the first step should be so first of all you need to really be open and honest with yourself and figure out if you want to start a business what reason you want to start a business okay is it because you want supplemental income is it because you really and truly believe in your product or service and you feel like people could benefit from it or is it because you see your friend starting a business, everybody's talking about entrepreneurship, so you just wanna hop on that bandwagon? If the last one is the case, you might wanna sit this one out. I don't wanna discourage anybody from starting a business, but if your heart is not into it, it will show. It's gonna show in your customer service, it's gonna show in your actual product and the quality of your products, it's gonna show in your marketing, it is going to show. It's eventually gonna rear its ugly head and that's no bueno, okay? First things first, decide. Do you wanna sell a product? Is that product gonna be homemade? Are you going to do private labeling, which means you select a vendor and you're using their product as your product? Um, are you going to provide a service? Who's your target audience, okay? So once you figure out if you are gonna have a product or a service, is it gonna be homemade? Is it gonna be a vendor? If you are going to provide digital products, okay? Because all products don't have to be physical products. You could create eBooks, you could create graphics for people. There's tons of people who have businesses doing digital content creation for digital content creators. So what part are you gonna be in and how does that fit into your grand scheme of things? What do you want to do, okay? So for example, like we've been talking about me and the businesses that I've started before, one of my very first businesses was doing homework for people. I know some people were probably like, you know what, I can see that. Other people are like, shame on you. But guess what, that was my very first business. So I needed to decide what was my value. How much was my time and my expertise worth? Going to offer. We've been using Daily Dose Spiritual Co. as our exemplar for this 12 days of business. So Daily Dose Spiritual Co., there we have physical products. So I actually make the spiritual baths. I put the intention into them. I do all of the behind the scenes work. I make sure that they are charged, cleansed, and blessed. I did all the research behind it. So the product you see is a reflection of that. However, in getting some feedback, Daily Dose Spiritual Co. will be changing. We've got some good stuff coming in the future. We're gonna have some bath teas now, which bath tea in a nutshell is basically the og of spiritual baths and then i'm also going to be adding in some digital products for my people who prefer to make things themselves, but maybe they just don't have the recipe and they don't want to go online and take other people's word for it they want a credible source it's coming so yeah decide what type of product you want research 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 so step two once you have decided what you want to sell Start to research that product. Know who your competitors are. Because if you're only competing with your girl down the street, dead that, okay? You want to select a product where you know your competition, you look on the internet, you look on social media, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Check those hashtags that go along with the product or service that you want to provide. See what your competitors are doing, not only on a local scale, because remember, we're not thinking small. We're thinking big. We're trying to elevate our business, okay, so that we can get the most bang for our buck. Research those hashtags. Find out if your pricing is bananas. 
Because guess what? Everybody has a cricket machine these days. So if you're making shirts and you're charging thirty dollars a shirt, you're you're not competing very well with other people because others can make it for cheaper. And actually now Walmart got the graphic tee, so who are you competing with? Who's your competition? Okay, know your competition. That's step two. Okay. Once you've gotten your product in place or your service or what have you, you know your competition, go ahead and write a business plan. Yes, you need a business plan. I know a lot of people might say, oh, well, that takes too much time. A business plan will save you a lot of time and headache in the long run. Having a business plan is basically your outline where you set up what your product is, how much your product's going to cost, who your consumer is, how are you going to market it to your consumer, um, how much it costs you to make each product. All of that's laid out in your business plan so that when tough times come or even when good times come, what happens if you have a product, your product's going great, and then someone says, you know what, that's an amazing product. What's your um, profit margins? What's your ROI? I'm looking to invest in your company. I'm looking to invest in you into your business or if it gets to the point to where you want to go to a bank and say your product is flourishing daily dose spiritual code those products are flying off the shelves I want them in every yoga studio around town well guess what I'm gonna have to provide some type of documentation which nine times out of ten they're gonna want your business plan your business plan includes your marketing plan so even if in the beginning your business plan looks as simple as a vision board you have to start somewhere because remember all of us are not business savvy just yet but the whole point of doing this research and going on YouTube watching videos like the 12 days of business is going to help us to get there but the point of a business plan the whole idea is to have a vision for where your company is going because if you do not plan you will plan to fail period Okay, have a vision for where your company is going, have those ideas clearly defined, you need to know certain things like what your product's going to look like, okay, how much it's going to cost to make it, how much you're going to sell it for, where do you see yourself in the next one month after launching, the next three months after launching, the next six months after launching, nine months, one year, three year, five years, okay, plan that out. Put it in your head because as we're manifesting this business and we're working on these things, we have to have something to look for, okay? You attract, you know what? Let, let, I'm starting to preach here. But seriously, you attract what you are putting out there, okay? Whether it's verbally or whether it's in your head. So why not have a bomb-ass business plan that you got your goals written down and let that be what you're manifesting, okay? And also, like I said, with the formal business plan, you're going to definitely need that whenever it's time to grow, okay? Sometimes our companies grow. They take off faster than we know. We got to have a plan for all of those situations. We even also have to have a plan for what happens if the business isn't going great, okay? What do I need to do if in one month I'm not making any money? In three months I'm not making any money? In six months I'm not making any money? What's my contingency plans? Okay, have a business plan. After you have your business plan, so we've decided what type of product or service we're going to be doing. Okay, we've done our research. We have our business plan. Step four, go ahead and get your company's paperwork complete. You have to pay taxes on a business. We're talking about a legal business, okay? This is not your side hustle. This is not, even if your business is your side hustle, okay? Let me take that back. If you are making money from a business, you need to get your documentation in order so that you can file your taxes. You can play with those people if you want to. But the thing is, you don't want to have your company start growing and then a hater come from around the corner and say, well, Da, da 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 so now you're in the hole and you're paying money because you don't want to pay your taxes okay get your business legal that's all i'm that that's a wrap you can do an llc you can do sole proprietorship um you can have a partnership depending on what type of business you own do the research your state's website will have all of that information if you'd like comment down below and i can make a separate video with all of that information because it's a lot to go over but make sure you get yourself together with the state then you don't have to worry about anybody taking your business name you don't have to worry about um 
tax evasion or any of that type of stuff you don't want those trouble you don't want that drama you don't want those troubles in your life okay so get your business together because you if you want somebody to take you seriously you need to take yourself seriously and your company period okay after that you need to get either a website or a social media platform okay i say this because whenever you're dealing with somebody isn't it the most annoying thing when you ask them about their product and there's no landing page for it dm me inbox me <laughs> shoot me a text message that's the worst no you want to have if you're starting a business you want your business to come off as professional so you need to have a landing page where people know okay if i want to order xyz i need to go to either this website now with facebook and instagram there's shops that are built in and that's a viable way to do business in this 21st century okay you can do that but the point is you need to have a landing place for your consumers you you're gonna sell a lot more when you have that than when you don't okay get your website together so yeah that's pretty much it guys those are the steps to just getting started okay getting your feet off the ground you definitely want to make sure you have those things clear before you advertise on facebook before you even post about your product get those things in order and i promise the actual process um of running your business are going to go so much more smoothly when you have those things in order before you even begin advertising for customers. That's it. See you guys on tomorrow. Tomorrow, I believe we are talking about branding. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's continue this. We're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to thrive, not just survive. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely comment down below because I want to tailor these videos to you guys. So some of these questions and things that I'm talking about, it's because people have inboxed me. Don't inbox me. Go ahead and comment on the video. It's okay. Share this video with some friends who may have just started a business or who are looking into starting a business. And I will see you guys on day five. Bye.